Okay. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to work on the uh, frame for the go kart. Now it needs a whole lot of cleanup before we do any paint on it. So first thing we're going to do is strip it all down and see what we've got, and then get to work getting the rust off of it. So let's get started. Okay, not much we can do with this part. We're going to have to tape and paint for it, or go all one color, because they welded it here. They welded it here. So let's pull the knuckles off and see what we got. There's one. Lucky enough, a go kart's not like working on a car. There's the other one. Now we're just two bolts away from this thing being free range. Let's go ahead and detach the joints up here. Come on, buddy, get on there. There we go. Huh. My nuts caught. I hate when that happens. There we go. That one was a little bit easier. I'm thinking about painting these, this part black. I haven't decided yet. So go ahead and break those loose. Ah, a wise guy. Okay, let me grab a wrench and we'll get her loose. There you go, that will hold her still. Gotta remember, we're, we're fighting 40 or 50 years worth of rust when we do this. And that's it. Now the rest of this is all gonna get painted because I look at the original and the nuts are painted and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it and paint it just like it sits from here. And for the rear axle, nah, a little overspray won't hurt us any. So, let's get these outside and clean them up. Kinda of like the little, the straps here that you'll see all over the place on this. There's one here too. These are where they were pulling it with a different go-kart because apparently it hasn't had a motor for a long time. And there you have it, instant paint prep. We've got tractors and whatnot making all sorts of noise here today, but we're gonna work with it. Something you learn pretty quick doing this is you wanna make sure your eyes are protected and you're not breathing this stuff. It does not taste good. All 
Okay, let's finish off the top of this bad boy. To the back end of this bad boy, I should say. I fast forwarded through a lot of the tedious part because I, I spent about three hours doing the sandblasting and the grinding and the painting and all that. But here's the finished product. She came out pretty good. She's not perfect, but she looks really nice. She looks fantastic compared to the way she looked before. So now we need to build a seat for it and we need to get the motor finished up and back on it. So we're doing the motor next. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>